welcome back to the learning tree. We're still here this week talking about snow and winter weather, but before we start today's project, I just wanted to take a quick second and talk about something called steam. Now I'm not talking about the steam that comes from a hot shower. I'm talking about an acronym that stands for science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And what we can do as adults to help spark that curiosity is encourage active and hands-on experiences for our young children. And by providing children with these hands-on experiences, we can help with their problem-solving skills, creativity, and critical thinking. In today's STEAM project, we're going to combine two of those components, science and art. And we're going to make these really cool salt snowflakes. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. You ready? All right, let's get started. The supplies you will need for today's project are plain white paper, snowflake printables. Now these are optional. You don't have to have the printables. It just makes it a little bit easier to create the snowflake patterns. You will also need Elmer's glue, salt, and blue food coloring. Okay, now we're gonna start with the art portion of our activity. The first thing we're gonna do is pick out our favorite snowflake from our printables. I picked this big one. And I picked this, this one. All right, and then we're gonna take a piece of plain white paper and we're gonna put it over the printable so you can kind of see through it. Now, I'm just gonna use this light board just because we happen to have it and it makes it a little bit easier to see the snowflakes through the paper, but you do not have to have one of these. And something you could also do, maybe for a little bit younger children, is you could just do it right on this piece of paper too. You don't have to use the blank piece over it. And then our next step is to grab our glue, and we're gonna use our glue kind of like a marker. We're gonna use it to draw on our paper. So we can kind of see the snowflake through this white piece of paper, and we're just gonna trace right along all the lines of the snowflake with our glue. Are done using our glue to trace our snowflakes and we noticed one of our fun facts that we talked about the other day with snowflakes each one of these snowflakes has six sides because every snowflake has six sides right mm -hmm. one two three four five six okay and our next step is to take our salt and we're gonna sprinkle this salt on top of our wet glue And once our snowflakes are all covered in the salt, we're just gonna shake off the excess. Okay, now we've got our salty snowflakes and we're just gonna let the glue on these dry for a little bit. It won't take very long, maybe about an hour. We're gonna let these dry. Okay, we let our snowflakes dry for about an hour. They don't have to be completely dry, just enough so they don't have drips coming off of them. And now we're gonna take our blue food coloring this is gonna be the science part of our project today. We're gonna to put one or two drops of blue food coloring into a bowl with a little bit of water. You don't have to measure this out exactly. Go ahead and put that in there. And then we're gonna use a pipette. Stir it up. You could use a medicine dropper or you could just use a paintbrush and kind of drop the, the liquid off of it, but it'd or probably you, be easier with some kind of a dropper. Or you can just use a spoon. Okay, we actually decided to put our papers on some waterproof placemats so we don't make a big mess with this. But we've got our droppers and we're gonna get some of the liquid and drop it right onto the salt and see what happens. So if you notice, when Ivy puts the liquid onto the salt, the salt absorbs it and soaks it up. And it spreads just throughout the salt. And it colors the snowflake blue. Our finished snowflake projects. 
Okay, we hope you enjoyed that project today. It was a combination of science and art, and I think they turned out really well. What do you think? Yes. All right, we'll see you back next week. Bye. Bye.